I keep on accidentally pressing the, the take a photo button. So every time I'm ready to start my vlog, I press, press the button, which you see it flash black and it's not the case. So it is Monday night. Woo, Monday night, I think my ass is out, is it? No, it's not, okay. it's in. <laughs> and we are just talking through stuff that we have on our minds sometimes of evenings we prefer not having the television on because it's good to evening, talk i never like having the television on i don't like watching tv it's just such a waste of time unless it's wax miami yeah i like to have one show that i watch and then no other tv because when you just have the tv on you just find random stuff to watch although sometimes it can be educational like not 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 important information that you need that moment do you get what i mean like the stuff we've been talking about in terms of vision and stuff like that, nothing on TV would be immediately relevant for us. It'd be like, oh cool, I learned about a blue whale today. I'm <laughs> but I'm not gonna, I don't need that knowledge at this point in time. You know, I think there was a, the there was a film about Silicon Valley though, or a documentary, and that was actually quite interesting. I quite like watching that. I think that was a few years ago. No, no, it was recently. Like I saved, I saved it on the TV. TV. What did you learn? That lots of people are trying to skip out on paying tax. <laughs> <laughs> I think very few shows are really informative. A lot to make get people interested. Like I watched a show like about rich people, mm. and I was like, "Oh, cool! It's going to show how they became rich." But it just shows their houses and stuff. So to get people to yeah. watch it to be entertaining, they strip out the useful content. I think that's why it's good watching things like on demand stuff, that like the leadership podcast. That is really, really good to watch. But sorry, as you're saying, ignore my rant on how I don't like TV. Yeah. Even though we bought a 55 inch screen, but that is totally cool because we use it for films. And even though we pay Virgin Media. Oh, too much. Too much for our TV channel that I never actually want to watch. We should downgrade it, but I think we have to see out the, 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 tri uh, the year or something. It, surely. I don't know. They have just far too many. It's far too many TV shows that just show nothing, like Rubbish. not quality stuff. It's just entertaining stuff, but like in a brain numbing, mind numbing <laughs> way. So, the reason why I wanted to vlog is because last week I watched Sarah's videos. <clears throat> I'll post a, a link to her videos about. She did a, a Monday motivation series. In her Monday motivation series, she was talking about. Um, Enthusiasm or drive? What? What was she? I've forgotten the word. Um, motivation. Is it motivation? Yeah, she was talking about motivation and how, really, realistically speaking, we need to learn how to live without motivation because there will be moments when we don't have motivation, but a task or something still needs to be completed, and to live without a dependency on motivation because sometimes we can always go through phases of not being motivated. We therefore have to substitute motivation or the need of motivation with an increased sense of discipline. To increase a sense of discipline, that then just means, okay, I need to do this because it's a discipline and I, I need to get this done rather than I, I'm inspired to get this done so I'm gonna get it done. It's not to say that you still can't exist without motivation, it helps. It helps add to discipline. So to increase a sense of discipline, I would suggest that it's a case of breaking down tasks so they are achievable and you feel like you're completing your to-do list. So yeah, Sarah was talking about motivation and the fact that you kind of need to be able to exist without a sense of motivation at all points and still go, go without, without a motivation, which actually sucks. But, um, and it actually was a little bit of a realization that actually, yeah, you, when you're not inspired, you still need to drive because you rely on a sense of discipline. And a sense of discipline comes about by breaking tasks down and doing small segments and ticking those things off, which in itself can sometimes produce a sense of motivation. So yeah, I thought I'd just share that and definitely have a listen to, uh, sorry, have a watch of her videos because they are uh, challenging and inspiring. It's her Monday Motivation series. So as part of that, I have made a list of things that I'm going to start ticking off, um, a list of stuff that is just hanging around, even like little things like 
returning stuff to shops, uh, which is never uh, an enthusiastic thing or an enthusiastic task to do, but, um, but the sense of discipline and the sense of, well, actually I'm doing this to achieve a bigger goal. Um, so a sense of perspective helps produce discipline as well. With such a busy week last week, this week I've taken it a little bit easier. So I've not posted as much earlier on in the week or recorded much earlier on in the week. One thing I have received today is my Starling bank account, which is, um, or my bank card, I should say. And uh, it comes in a nice black envelope and I've just opened it. I'm gonna have to put this down somewhere to see. Let's see, I usually put um, my, <laughs> my, my phone in the cupboard because it works out quite well. It's the right height. Now look at this. So hopefully you'll be able to see, can you see that? Just the, how awesome is that? It's really, really cool. So this is my new, my new card, which I will be using. I decided to switch to, to Starling Bank predominantly because they, um, they have better like goal features. It's been a little bit quieter this week, predominantly because I'm actually in London again and not traveling as much. And uh, just wanna show you something that I got in the post. So I've always loved Monzo and will always probably kind of move on to the current account and all that stuff. But I wanted to try out something different in hope to get more in control and see better transparency of, of money. So I decided to go for Starling Bank and this, this is the packaging of the card. Look how cool that is. So it has um, obviously the pattern on this side and, a, and just some vertical lines here. Look at that, which is super, super cool. So I will be moving on to see how I get on with Starling Bank. One bonus of Starling Bank that Monzo hasn't got around to doing yet is that you can add the Starling Bank card to your Apple Pay or your your Apple wallet. So you can actually start using the card straight away once you've passed all the checks, rather than having to actually wait for the card to turn up. So um, so yeah, bravo on that one, because that's definitely um, kind of puts you ahead of the necessary need of a physical card. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna start using this and see how that fares, whether or not it'll be better or the same, I'm, I'm not sure. I've also been using Yolt as well, just to manage money across multiple accounts, like normal NatWest accounts, which are always much, much slower. And I think I'm getting used to this sense of real-time banking, which is really helpful to see, um, rather than having a delay in when things are being paid for or when money's kind of going out of your account which is um, which is good. Another thing I can recommend, so this week I've been listening to an audio book called The Four Hour Work Week. That is um, it's just blowing my mind with lots of, lots of good resources, ideas, strategies for simplifying. Um, there's one in there about sending an auto response to people that email you to say, hi, I only answer emails or I only look at emails at 12 noon and at four o'clock. If it's anything urgent, then call me. But other than that, I'll respond to it in those times. Thanks for helping me to be more efficient and effective. I look forward to speaking with you. Or something, it kind of guides it in a way of, in working towards this like noon and four and you working between that then you are helping me to be more efficient, so which is fascinating. And also just the way that whenever you have phone calls, the way that the language you use to keep things short or like always get out of meetings because meetings are less efficient um, than emailing and, and quick correspondence, that kind of way. So there's lots of stuff. And then right now I went through a, a chapter of virtual assistants. So he was delegating lots of his, ta his tasks out to someone in India that was writing um, emails, responding to things, uh, researching for him and all, a load of other tasks. And uh, he found it incredibly useful delegating lots of small tasks out to um, someone else. And then I can't remember what I'm at right now. I think um, I'm at product. So about creating products, about testing things before purchasing products, finding audiences and finding markets before making the product. Um, so find the right audience and the niche audience, the niche 
uh, kind of customer and then from that build the product and if you can be in that kind of audience or that category already so yeah two things this week is like getting on top again just trialing out some new uh, financing like banking apps so Starling Bank Yolt is a good kind of money management app and then on the other side doing um, yeah the audiobook which is really 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 good so it's through audible they give you one credit a month which is unfortunately not enough i would like more credits please but i don't want to pay for more credits so um so yeah having to just stick with one credit as it renews every month so then you could download a new audiobook last month you may have known or you may know even that last month was rich dad poor dad which is a good a good book a great book as well it's about just trying to remove yourself from money equals time that you spend and that relationship, trying to make it so your money isn't tied to your time or your time isn't tied to your money and owning businesses and running businesses rather than working for an employer um, to some extent. So yeah, that's it. Waiting for Kim to get back home and then we start date night. Look at that rainbow, man. That your it's the same. You, it's a shame you can't see it on the other end. We're in Orpington today to visit our nephew, sister-in-law, and sister-in-law's husband or brother-in-law. I always worry about crossings because some people drive super fast and then don't look like they're going to stop. I steer them down. So I make sure I protect. No. Protect Kim and my bike. Hey. Protecting. No, as I in steer like. Steer the driver don't, down. Don't walk out. And don't you dare. Because sometimes I've seen Carry cars literally just not stop and they would just drive through. Don't stop me. <laughs> okay, we are out here babysitting. Babysitting. Our little nephew. So say hi, Asha. <laughs> Your hands over the camera. <laughs> okay, fail. It's fine. So Dan's looking great with the pram. Can you flip it back out to see? The you have to see. unfortunately stop the video. Yeah. Generic, generic video of man pushing pram. You ready for this? Ready for yeah, fatherhood? I'm ready. Maybe not right now, but I am ready. Maybe in like come back to me in two years' time. Two years time, well, two years. Yeah, three years, two, three years. Like, oh. Once I hit 30, I think I'll be ready. Wait, that's three years? Yeah. Crazy. Three years. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be 28 next year, that's insane. I know. Um, but yeah, no, that's the same as me. I'm in no rush. Kids change your life massively. I'm just loving they're being an auntie right now. Yeah, they're a huge blessing. The auntie vibes. Anti vibes are the vibes I'm enjoying. We're watching Marley and me. Is it Marley and me? About a crazy dog. We're such parents right now. <laughs> While Asher is still sleeping, um, I hope that he'll sleep for another hour because that's when the parents return. And um, then we've done our job. And we'll say that he was a bundle of joy. He pretty much was. We literally just got him in the pram and just walked him and then he slept. So um, it's all about distraction techniques, I think. That's what I'm starting to realise. And lots of long walks. So lots of fresh air to get them going as well. I feel like a mum because I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, we kind of didn't go to bed till 3am. So we're kind of sleeping on I was out six hours, seven hours. But that's more than what a mother would raving. be on. A mother would probably be on like four hours or like oh, three hours long. or something Can like that. Can we get a nanny to breastfeed our kids? What, breastfeed? No. Yeah. That'd be weird, having someone else to breastfeed your own kids. I'll do it. You know where those, like, you provide the milk and then I have that, like, thing. Have you seen the those strap things? strap-on boob. Yeah, they, they really exist. They really exist. I'd much prefer that than have a, someone else do it. I don't know. Okay. Don't like that idea, so. Well, we can just give them a formula from, like, the... That's what they do with adopted kids. Adopted kids don't turn out crazy. Yeah. But it is a... I'm just kidding, I will best food. But your boobs get really big and then they deflate and then they just like hang down like this. Hang down like an empty sock. There's nothing wrong with empty socks. <laughs> and you like, you like lift them up and they're just like, yeah, sag. 
I still love you. Deflated boob. It, won't, it doesn't change anything. So. Yeah. Mm. Might get a boob job after that. We've yeah. ordered a curry as well. Kids, don't curry get a boob is on job. the way. Don't do surgery. Be happy with what God has given you. Yeah, we've got curry now. Amen. Right, back to the movie. It's another documentary after the Bitcoin documentary, which was really fascinating. Fascinating to know that one of the guys that was selling Bitcoin to a guy that was passing on Bitcoin for buying and selling drugs, that original guy got put in prison, but take the 2008 credit banking crisis, everything. In America, no bankers went to jail, and no bankers went to jail for um, for money laundering either. But this Bitcoin guy did, and even though this guy was giving Bitcoin to someone else to then sell or buy drugs, that's kind of like what banks do. Banks like will have an ATM machine or a um, yeah, like a machine that will you can get money out and drug money can be well yeah it can be drug money so it doesn't quite make sense i guess basically they were saying that the judge was trying to make an example out of this individual and set the uh, president for going forward which i think was a bit unfair it's basically trying to regulate so then there was a regulation uh, that was put into law in the state of new york or new york yeah and um the whole team that worked on that bit of policy had then later um, so they had written some sort of policy which only allowed companies with a license to trade um, Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies and then later down the line those people quit the government department and create their own law firms to help companies to get around those laws, to get around those that like, or to fulfill that license, the license criteria, which is weird. So people were saying the reason why they came up with this regulation was for personal gain, because then later down the line they quit and make per, like private firms to help companies get past that license. Uh, sorry, fulfill the license. Just a bit strange, but um, fascinating thing is blockchain, the technology that Bitcoin is built on. I wonder if, okay, I'm investing in cryptocurrencies, but I wanna see if there are any blockchain companies uh, to invest in. Um, so I'm currently Googling for blockchain, the, like the blockchain stocks and companies to invest in. If you have any blockchain companies that you are currently invested in, uh, then let me know, because it'd be interesting to know. So while I do this, I'm watching some physics Higgs boson as they collide particles. Third documentary about bodyguards, <laughs> one of which is Justin Bieber's bodyguard. Others are um, bodyguards for, um, yeah, celebrities or singers, musicians. It's it's two twenty six, and um, this this particular bodyguard is for just uh, like ambassadors or in other countries, like war countries. And they're doing a training exercise, really interesting. I'm also still looking at um, basically blockchain companies. So then you don't have to invest in, uh, in Bitcoin itself, but blockchain companies. Just thinking more about um, the discipline and how discipline, if you can craft a, a sense of discipline, then you can, pr well, you can pretty much achieve anything with a sense of discipline. If that's learn an instrument or learn a new skill or start a business. So rather than having a, like, drive, because drive can come and go, it's sense of discipline that produces drive so if you can create or cultivate a sense of, of of basically discipline then you can achieve your goal